This is more playing with spindle synced motion. You've seen some of the um, some of the polygon boring and turning I've been playing around with. I actually made the component so that I could scan in a G-code shape into the component and then it would use that scanned uh, data to create the shape. And so it seems to work pretty good. It's just a cam shape that then I rotated 90 degrees and cut another cam shape. This is just some plastic. Um, you can see, I think, uh, beginning of the video is it, a short clip of it cutting, but that was the second cam here. So I'll show you a little bit on the computer what's going on. Alright, I'll try to explain what I'm doing here. I'm going to launch Linux CNC. This is a sample config, but it has a simulated spindle and, and my polygon component. I'm going to start this up and home it. And I'm going to load the shape that I want to bore or turn. Alright, so the way the, the um, program runs is when I run this, first it's going to go to the center of the shape, which is 0, 0. And I'm going to show you, these are all the pins that, um, that are in the, that make up the polygon component, which kind of is, I don't know, I shouldn't probably name it polygon anymore because it does more than just that. It does a D shape and it also now will scan in a, a shape, an arbitrary shape of G code, and then um, using spindle synced motion will then create that shape. But I digress. Um, let me, I gotta, I gotta set the polygon corner radius to zero, otherwise, that that's just for the actual polygon shape. It doesn't work for this, it actually does some really funky stuff, but. Um, oops. I'm just setting it to zero. And now what I'm going to do is now that I have the um, tooltip to the center of my shape, I'm going to enable the shape, um, um, the shape uh, part of the polygon program so that it knows that it's going to be doing a shape. Um, enable scan. Oops. True. So now the component knows that, hey, I'm going to be doing a shape and not just a polygon formula. And part of what I, I did just to hack this in is um, the shape is um, got a known dimension of one. So you can see here this this actually the biggest shape is one. Um, that just makes it so that all the scaling works correctly as it did for the formula, which the formula um, calculates the maximum point as being one and then I scale from there depending on what size you want it to be. Um, so so now that the, the, the navel scan is true, now I can unpause the program and it's going to go to the edge and pause again. So now I can set P polygon scan, what is it called? Start scan, true. So now it's waiting and I, if I unpause this, it'll, it'll, uh, run the g-code and what it's doing right now is based on the center of this shape it's calculating the radius through the full 360 degrees um, so it's saving that in an array in the comp the polygon comp 
So now I can turn um, the start scan. I can and I can turn that back off again. Now that shape, the radius, is stored within the component. Um, you can't see my my hands waving, which sucks. But um, so now, if I like jog this off somewhere. And you can see the the polygon inscribed radius is 0.375. So that is what the radius of this is going to be when it's actually um, calculating it from spindle um, position. So now if I if I set p polygon enable and I enable it and I turn the spindle on I'm go slow it'll take a second to find the index because it's only 10 rpm did I hit go oh why is that paused oh anyway I must have started the program by accident that isn't what I meant to do so now when the spindle is rotating it'll draw that shape. Let's look at so but like I say this is the shape with the radius as 0.375 instead of 1. So I can like change the radius by to 1, if I set it to 1, it'll make it the same size as the scan because it's 1 inch. And so this is how I did the cam on the lathe and then I also, as you see there's two cams, I uh, change the polygon angle to 90 degrees. And that's what you're seeing on the actual um, the actual part that I cut. And what's kind of cool about this is you can do really any arbitrary shape. I'm going to I'm going to stop the spindle. And I'm going to disable it and also we'll see if this works <laughs> I haven't actually tested this um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a different shape and this is a heart shaped of course um, so if I run this And so this is the center of that shape. And I set, whoops, shoot. Let's try that again. <sighs> Gotta be focused on what are I, where I want to type. And now if I unpause this and then do uh, start scan true and then I run this, it's gonna scan this shape in to the component. And I speed wise I don't know what's the maximum speed. You could calculate it out. It's you know running a one kilohertz servo thread. It's scanning through this every time every every millisecond and then calculating the um, the radius of that shape. So you could probably run it faster. I haven't done the math. Um, 10 inches per minute is more. It's definitely slow enough. Um, so now I'm going to So now if I jog this away 
Oops. Oh my god, let's get in jog mode. There we go. And then I enable the polygon and then start the spindle. It should make a heart shape. Hey. Oh, and it's rotated 90 degrees because that's where I left the component. Um, if you look at the pins, um, the polygon angle is 90 degrees. So if I set this to zero, deg zero degrees, oops. draw it at 90 degrees or at zero degrees and this is set to um, one inch which makes it the same size as a scan but I could make it smaller or bigger but um, make it a radius of a quarter inch So, I mean, it makes it so you could theoretically almost bore or turn any shape within, you know, tool shape. I mean, you can't make any shape, but um, you could definitely bore this shape. Um, it'd be kind of hard to lathe with the, the top of the heart. You could, pro depending on the cutter relief, you could do it probably. But, uh, I don't know, it just gives us a whole bunch of other options you can do. Um, I don't know what the uh, full extent of what you could possibly do with this, but, you know, cams, uh, stuff like that. Hearts, of course. Um, but, yeah. I think it's kind of cool, even though it's just a bit weird. Talk to you guys later.